I want to start out by introducing the STEM queens who will be featured on this video blog series. We have Tennille Faber who will be working full time with Shell and Allison Hartman who will be working with midstream company Philip 66. We will also have Christina Rasmussen who has been working with Marathon and Alyssa Plant who will be working full time with ExxonMobil. I hope you enjoy part 2 of the STEM queen video series. Why chemical engineering? Why did you decide to go into this career? What inspired you and what keeps you going? So from the get-go, I've always just been super interested in kind of understanding like how chemicals play together, react together, and what happens when you put one thing with another. And I think that was kind of one of the things that I thought was super intriguing about chemical engineering, chemistry, and just like the engineering world in general is just the the understanding why, the understanding how, and getting to like figure that all out was something that I was like always drawn to. And especially like as a kid, I used to love doing science fair projects with my dad. So I think just all of that combined, I was like, I think this is where I need to be. This is kind of what I need to do, you know? Well, my dad's an engineer. And so growing up, I knew like I wanted maybe to go into some kind of um, STEM major. And then it was kind of between chemistry or chemical engineering. And I realized like through um, looking at colleges and talking to different professors that I was def I'm definitely a people oriented person and so I knew I wanted to go into more the engineering side rather than just focusing specifically on chemistry and so because I was so good and really liked chemistry I decided chemical engineering was going to be a good combination of working with people solving problems as well as applying uh, my like I guess I loved chemistry so it was a good kind of balance so I've been exposed to engineering for a long time. My uh, grandfather was a chemical engineer and, and actually did a lot in the oil and gas field. So I, I was always around it. It was always like in the back of my mind. I actually wanted to go to medical school, um, but I just wasn't super passionate about it. And so I was like, okay, there's this thing that my grandfather has been really passionate about. And so I knew that I wanted to do some sort of engineering. Um, and then being a freshman, I didn't really know what I wanted to do with my life. And so I chose chemical engineering because there's so many things that you can do with it. Kind of a cliche answer, I guess, but I really did like math and growing up in chemistry was my favorite like science class in high school. And then as a freshman at A&M, I didn't really know what I wanted to do in terms of a future job role. And Kenny is pretty broad and there's a lot of industries you can go into. Um, so that was a pretty big factor in why I chose chemical engineering. So as you could hear these ladies say, they all chose chemical engineering for a lot of similar and different reasons. Chemical engineering opens up the doors to so many different opportunities in so many industries. As you can tell, pretty much everyone really enjoyed math and science. And with this, they were able to explore the chemical engineering industry and now use this degree to further their future careers. Thanks for listening to part two of the STEM Queen series and hopefully you catch our next video.